Hi, my name's Kasane Appleby, or Zane, and I'm from Fruzy. Today, we are here to do a comparison between the Optimum 9400 and the Nutribullet. So who am I here with? Rory Bland, the whole fur dude. How's it going, guys? And today, I think it's going to be a funny one because Rory's got a few things up his sleeve. But uh, we've got on the table in front of us this kale smoothie recipe, and we also have... Hummus. You know what they say, hummus where the heart is. <laughs> I told you, a funny one. But we really do want to have a factual comparison between the two units because on late night TV, you might have seen the Nutribullet and how it's going to make an explosion of all your nutrients into your body. And we really think that there's no comparison after playing around with them. We want to share with you so you can make your own decision. So we will start with the kale smoothie and a little bit of a closer look at the Nutribullet. The Nutribullet comes with two sets of blades in the bottom. These low ones are designed for grinding and then the normal blades, sharp blades, which don't feel very sharp, but it does say caution sharp blades on there, um, which are for blending. In comparison with the Optimum, which? It is one jug fits all. You've got the dry chopping, you've got the grinding, you've got the blending, all in one jug. So that's great. You don't have to worry about washing any other bits or using any other bits. The other thing that comes in the box with the Nutribullet are these three cups. So this is your standard blending cup, and then you've got one the same size with the handle, so you know you can drink and go, and then a larger one the same size with the handle again, so you can drink and go. What we decided we were going to make these two things, and we didn't want to wash up in between, and we realised that we can't make a standard size smoothie or even the hummus in this small cup. I would probably use double this ingredient in the Optimum 9400 for a smoothie for one person. Mm. And what about you? Triple. 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 He drinks a lot. <laughs> smoothies, that is. So uh, we do have the Max line and it's literally this much that mm. we can fit in there. You know, not enough what I would consider to make an actual smoothie. So we are gonna use this travel mug to mm. um, make the smoothie directly in. And we're gonna pop the kale in and, and with all of these um, single serve blenders, what you'll find is that you put all the ingredients into the cup and then you turn the cup upside down, which puts a lot of pressure on the O-ring um, or the seal and after a little while they'll start to um, actually leak. I've also popped in here a tablespoon of brown flax seeds. We've got exactly the same ingredients for both. And then raspberries. Why did we choose raspberries, Rory? Raspberries are absolutely delicious. They are a low fructose, a low sugar fruit, but they're also really high in antioxidants. They are delicious. And the other reason that I threw them into a blender test oh, was that they've the got seeds. seeds. Of course, yeah. yeah. So when, when blending up, sometimes the seeds actually don't get fully blended up. So we're going to have a look and see what happens there. So we've popped all the ingredients in there. We um, look like we've got everything just under yeah. the max line. So that's great. I'm going to pop the blades right on top here. Do it nice and nice and tight and then shake everything down to the bottom. So it's reaching the blades. We've got half a cup of water in each. Ready to go? Ready to go. Yes. So about 30 seconds or so there, we've compared the two blenders. We've got the Nutribullet here, which I'm now having difficulty opening. Um, we just take that off the bottom and straight away we'll pour them into these nice clear glasses and we'll see if we can oh, see a good. massive difference. It does smell good and the reason why I chose kale as well, we really did give it a good test here because kale's a hard one to blend. Look, in mine I can see whole raspberry seeds coming through. I can see bits of flaxseed and I can actually see little green chunks of kale that haven't been blended in properly. Mm. And I can feel that in my mouth as well. Mm. With the or with the one in the Optimum 9400, we can see a really smooth, clean look mm. already. So I think we're going to notice a massive difference there. As a matter of fact, what do you think we do the paper test, Rory? Yes. tell the difference between the two and I think the best way to tell is a taste test. What do you reckon? Yes. Off you go. All right, shock on the good one. Oh, it's a good smoothie, man. Mmm, crunchy. <laughs> oh, mm. instant difference with the, um, with the texture for sure. Absolutely. Now we've really given this a hard test. We've put in here flax seeds, kale and raspberries. Um, we've done exactly the same ingredients in both. We've blended for exactly the same period of time. We've got a nice, beautiful, smooth texture. We've got lumpy chunkies over here. 
and in my mouth I can tell mm. the difference straight away. Um, some of the things that stand out to me, especially in this one, is that I've got not only bits of raspberry seeds, which raspberry mm. seeds are really hard to blend, but I've got bits of kale, which mm. although a hardy leaf, is still a leaf and can mm. usually blend quite well. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's, it's still got remnants of the, the raspberries, the flax seeds and the kale, especially the kale. And kale shouldn't be too hard to blend up. And in the, in the one made by the optimum, there's no trace of kale at all, except for the greenness, that's it. So that's why I like it. Mm. So there's a comparison between the smoothies. Um, also the longevity of the two is such a difference. You know, mm. you're looking at a high speed, high end, high quality blender with, you know, steel bearing, sta uh, stainless steel blades. Um, and then over here, we've really got a huge difference. You know, in the bottom, instead of the stainless steel drive socket, we've actually got the plastic drive socket. And I know I've used one of these before. Mm. And if you know the ingredients inside are too hardy, what happens is the plastic wears and breaks off and eventually this needs to be um, replaced. And it, by eventually, I mean three to four months rather than, you know, a blender that's meant to last 10 years. So mm. that's from my personal experience from using one. Shall we pop aside the green smoothie? Wash up our jugs and make a hummus. Absolutely. We'll see you soon.